Okay, uh, so let us begin today. Welcome everyone to the Grothendieck School of Thoughts. Uh, today's speaker is Professor Parvez Sarwar from IIT Harakpur, and he will speak on uh, K-theory of schemes and the computational aspects of it. So uh, please. Yeah, uh, thank you, Mainak, for the introduction, and thank you, uh, Dipankar. For, he, for your efforts and enthusiasm of organizing these nice things. I think this, this all these things will be useful for all uh, graduate students, PhD students. So, but uh, uh, my title of the talk, what uh, Moinak said is, I do not know. My title is Algebra K Theory and it's a uh, application to computer algebra. So that is the, uh, today's I'm going to talk about. So, and this uh, full talk uh, is divided into three parts. So in the first parts, around 15, 20 minutes, I will spend uh, some time uh, how uh, some question on projective modules can be handled from the algebra IK groups. And then part two is about, I, I will discuss Horst conjecture. So Horst uh, conjecture. So this, this I said in my uh, abstract that uh, it, it connects some uh, K-theory property. With uh, K-theory property with the uh, regularity of K-theory property of a, of a say, ring uh, of a ring R with the irregular, regularity property of the ring means when we say a ring is uh, regular okay so this is the force this is the connection so i'll i'll make the precise, precise statement about the force conjecture and then uh, pa part 3 uh, i will talk about so 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 some results in this direction so what is the uh, status of this this force conjecture so, so in yeah, in more general, it is still open problem. But uh, so, so as I said that, and I saw uh, before, uh, Dipankar asked me maybe long time back, back four months back that uh, he wanted, wanted me to give a talk on K-theory. Then I said, yes, after that, I have, I have not heard from him after three, four months. Then I think in the first week of July, he said that he, uh, uh, okay, so let's uh, organize a talk. Then I saw the, I was going through the video, then I saw that there's a lot of talk on algebra K groups, a lot of uh, definition, uh, various ways of defining it, exact category, what I was saying, uh, uh, in terms of ring also, and then uh, about a scheme also. So, so then I thought, let me give, use uh, whatever we know K theory as a black box and we'll use some application. So then uh, here, uh, this K theory property with regularity. So this is the recent techniques by, Cotton uh, Hasimer. So this is something called a CDH technique, which I'll I'll I hopefully today I'll be able to talk C CDH techniques. Okay. So using these techniques, they they prove uh, they means. Uh, so let me write down the name Cotinus. I will give the reference also Cotinus uh, Hasimer. Has a Cortinus, has a mayor, and then uh, Y well. So they proved, but with the earlier work, with, there's another paper with assisting. So, so let me write down in the bracket assisting uh, was listing uh, also. Okay, so they use some very uh, in 2004 or 5 or 2008, this paper came using this uh, very, very recent technique, CDS technique. So they prove this Bohr's conjecture in characteristic zero. And the later there is an atom in characteristic P and uh, some more uh, recent atom, but more generally, uh, this is still a, a open problem and conjecture. 
and and this was uh, conjectured by Vost, as the name suggests, in in seventies. Okay, so this is um, uh, this is the plan of my talk. So if you have any questions, and uh, you feel free to ask, because I do not see much audience also. I know my knack, and uh, so if you have any questions, we can then because the number of audience is less, we can have discussion and go ahead. Okay, so. So what is this? So this I think we need to uh, erase. Let's see, erase this. So, so this this thing let me erase it. Uh, doing something here. Yeah. Okay, so part one. So part one is application of uh, projective models with the uh, K theory. So the, in this direction, there's a famous, so I will tell, so the, in, in 50s, uh, around 1950s, there, there's a, a famous conjecture by Sir, right? So you, all of you must know. So let me uh, recall it. This is about, uh, the, at that time it was a conjecture about, uh, about project finite design and projective models. It says that, that every, a finitely generated a projective a k k is a field k x one dot 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 x n so polynomial ring with n variable every finite generated projective k x one to x n model is free so projective module I think you must have heard it. So let me recall a uh, projective module, finally generated projective module. So P. So we say P is projective, means P direct sum Q is a free. So it's not a free, it is a direct sum free. Right. So the, this 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 means a P direct sum some another model. If you add, so it becomes a free. So if you, if you, this ring is uh, our say R, it becomes uh, some R to the power N. So that is the definition, but uh, a conjecture says that it is a, actually a free model. Okay, and uh, around the same time, uh, Grothendieck uh, defined. So this uh, uh, this is the motivation of the talk. I think it is uh, slogan is that Grothendieck defined this this uh, K not uh, of a ring. So in order to generalize this, uh, uh, in order to generalize the rock theorem defined so he defined more generally for his scheme defined cannot or cannot r uh, in order to uh, generalize a Riemann rock theorem now we will see how this so, so this definition completely came uh, from a different pers uh, perspective but however so this this has a immediate application in terms of unregistered projective models, which I will tell. Okay, so uh, around the same time, he proved that if R is a regular ring, goes and take proof, uh, R is regular. So I hope everybody knows uh, what do you mean by regular, right? If you do not know, let me uh, know, okay? So you can ask me if you something you do not know, I can at least tell orally. Regular ring means it is locally regular, means locally means if you have a maximal ideal, so m mod m square as a r mod m, which is a field, vector space dimension is n and cool dimension will be same. So that is called embedding dimension and cool dimension are same. So it is locally regular. Then if every maximum it is a regular, then we say r is regular. So if r is a regular ring, then Gosendi proved that uh, this 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 he has proved during 50s that uh, k naught of r is isomorphic to uh, k naught of r. Uh, n variable x on to x n.
Okay. So but now you will see in by the definition of the uh, K naught. So if, if if R is a field, if R equal to K equal to field, then we know that this uh, K naught of uh, K is isomorphic to Z, right? Because then every fine bridge and projective module become vector space. And up to isomorphism, every vector space is determined by integer n. And then it is a K naught is a group completion of integers, so it will become a Z. Right? So, and then this so this implies by Gothendieck, it implies that this, this K naught of polynomial ring with n variables, Xn, is also Z. Right? So, th so, so what does this mean? So what this statement says? It, it, it is a statement does not say that all projective modules become free. Because the, in the definition of the projective module, you take the uh, all isomorphism classes of finite and the projective R module, and you take the free abelian group generated by this, and then you go modulo uh, some submodule or relations. So the relation is we have a sort exact sequence, then uh, say sort exact sequence are the relation. So the zero to uh, P uh, to Q to if p prime, if you have a sort of exact sequence, so this, this, then this will uh, induce an element uh, in K naught, namely, so you can think of class of Q minus class of p minus class of p prime. So th th these are zero. Means if you take the element, so this, this Q prime, p minus p prime, p Q prime, p prime minus p prime is all an element of K naught, a free abelian group, and you take the sub 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 uh, sub group generated by these things. So, so, so the, the, those are zero in the K naught. So, what this says, what this says is that uh, already that uh, uh, projective module is it, it is not free, but projective module is is stably free. So now it simplifies the problem. Stably free means, so if P is the projective module, it means that P adding some R to the power M, it becomes R to the power N. So this is meaning of the stably free. So if you write in, in terms of the sort exact sequence, you get that uh, zero to P to R to the power N to R to the power M to zero. Further, so maybe using induction on M. So if you, if you can you can write down this. Uh, suppose you write. Uh, suppose I can write this way. So zero to p. It, it is not p. Maybe r to the power m minus one, and uh, r to the power n to. So I'm I'm writing another. So let's say p prime. P prime is uh, say p direction r to the power m minus one. So this is one. This is zero. So this is a free R module, right? So this 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 mat this map is given by uh, some matrix, uh, which is a size uh, one by n. So it is given it, it, it is given by say a, a one uh, dot 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 some a n some n by one matrix. It's by line, linear algebra, right? And to say that this p prime is free, to so uh, to say p prime is free, it means that this this vector can be completed to a n by n invertible matrix. So th this is some linear algebra fact that linear linear algebra fact. This is some using linear algebra. One can show that p prime is free if and only if uh, this this matrix uh, this this the column row vector say a one a two dot 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 a n can be completed to a n by n a n by n uh, invertible matrix in R. This is n by n matrix. So, this is the problem of becoming a sales conjecture. It, it, is, it is a completely become a linear algebra problem, which is asking that if you have a, a vector, so you note that. So, th this is a subjective map. So, this a1 to an, it, it is already the map. You take a vector in, R, in Rn, you take the inner product, right? But R, so in, in general, you know, all the ring, we have a, a, all the ring has a, this is the R. All the ring has a unity means identity element which is one. So this says that uh, sigma ei there will be some b one to b n such that ei b i is one. So this is the meaning of uh, this this vector is a inverse. So the, the problem becomes sales conjecture becomes uh, solving 
a dislinear algebra problem. So as I said that since conjecture is a, a theorem due to Quillen uh, and, and Suslin, uh, is uh, uh, that they independently proved in 1960, uh, 1976, uh, Quillen and uh, Quillen and uh, Suslin ind independently proved this. But the Suslin method is this one. Suslin actually, Suslin he proves, he actually proved, he proved that if you take a unimodular vector in the polynomial ring with n plus or n, n variable, it is completable to a n by n matrix. He proved, uh, he proved actually uh, given, he proved that this f1 to uh, fn is a uh, is a unimodular vector. In order of vector, as I said, that there exists some uh, g on to g n such that some sigma of i j is one. In order of vector in this uh, a polymer ring with uh, n variable, and then he shows that uh, that uh, this this is uh, this can be uh, he proved that the vector uh, the f on to f n is an inward vector can be computed to a n by n invertible matrices. To form it to an invertible matrix. So, so far, are there any questions? Dubankar? So, 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 see, now you see that uh, the stress conjecture using K theory uh, defined by. Uh, cannot using cannot itself defined by Gothendieck, it becomes a problem of linear algebra. So this was the uh, first part of my talk. So now I shall move to the second part. This is one application. So this is what I wanted to say that uh, a K theory uh, somehow helps in uh, some solving some other problems also. So in part two, so I shall talk about a worse conjecture. So his statement is so let uh, words conjecture his statement is let uh, R be a essentially. Essentially, essentially finite type K algebra. Suppose R B essentially finite type K algebra. Uh, K algebra. If Or say assume algebra of of say dimension D. Okay, so of dimension of cool dimension D, uh, then if then K D plus one of R isomorphic to kd plus on r x on to xn for all n greater than equal to zero implies that r is regular. Right? So kd plus kd plus on means d plus on it a k group or uh, then k if, if it is like a, a k d plus one is isomorphic to polynomial extension of that ring so this is called some sort of, some sort of homotopy invariance property right so converse is always true if r is a regular ring then not only k d plus one a k i of r is isomorphic to k i of r polynomial extension for for uh, all i and for all n greater than equal to zero so but uh, the statement of conjecture says that 
that if uh, RBI SNC refined time, SNC refined time means you take the affine algebra and localize at, uh, it will be localization, uh, localization of the affine type uh, some key algebra. So if KD plus one is isomorphism, KD plus one, if, uh, uh, KD plus one of R is isomorphic to KD plus one of R with the polynomial extension, then R is regular. So, so let, let, let me say historical things. So in, in, in this is uh, this is conjecture by Bohr's around seventies uh, in 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 seventies. Uh, okay, and he proved he proved the case. Uh, when uh, he proved the case when uh, the dimension R is 1. Okay, so he, he proved if uh, it is a K2, uh, K2 R is isomorphic to K2 R X to Xn, then he proved that, um, that R is a regular ring. So he proved this uh, dimension one case, and then he conjectured for arbitrary in seventies. Then, so after that, there was no progress at all after this. But uh, suddenly in two thousand eight, so this this is uh, let me uh, give the reference here itself. This is his uh, Borosti's uh, paper, uh, mathematics. Uh, Analen. Mathematics LNN, uh, maybe around in seventies. This is the title is the title of the paper. Let me just put that down. So title was, so it will be easy for you. So localization of K-theory, localization of the K-theory of polynomial extension. K-theory of uh, polynomial extension. So this is, this is becoming a little bit so in any question so far? Then in, in, in 2008, in, in 2008, as I said, uh, it is it is approved by uh, Cortinus. Uh, Cortinus uh, has a has a Meyer, has a Meyer and Weibel. So and this is uh, this is appear in. Uh, general of uh, general of the uh, AMS American Mathematical Society in general of the American Mathematical Society in two thousand eight. So title title of the paper is so title of the paper is paper is title. K regularity, K regularity, then CDH, CDH vibrant oxyl homology, oxyl homology, and the conjecture of uh, and a conjecture of worst. So you can see the paper. So we'll discuss some part of work of this paper. So, so then this is proved in 2008, and then, then uh, later on it is improved by uh, then then uh, there's a work by in characteristic. So this is this is the proved in characteristic zero. So this is in in characteristic zero. It is equal to zero. So in, in characteristic P, 
we can look at the work of uh, uh, Geyser, uh, work of Geyser and Hesselhold. Geyser, uh, and the same name on a conjecture of Ghost. Oh, and Hessel, hold. I, I, I'm sorry if you. I hope the spelling is correct. Guys, okay, and Hessel, what? Okay. Uh, what we can look at this. And recently, uh, more more recently, by maybe in 2021 or 22, um, uh, this is uh, uh, Morris Kurz. Kurge and then I think Tame, Kurge, Tame, and um, Murich Kurge, Tame, and some, some of, uh, I think, uh, Saito maybe. So you can, so I literally confirm. So they proved, they, they improved this characteristic. So the, in, in the characteristic P, Geisa has a load, they, 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 these people assumed resolution of singularity. So this is uh, assuming assuming resolution of singularity. Resolution of a singularity. But card uh, term, I forgot. Uh, this is card term and uh, who else is there? I forgot. Uh, Fullerian is strong. Sorry. Cars Tame and there will be a ST. So this is will be a Fullerian is strong. Okay, so towards uh, this, this three author paper you can see, this appeared in 2001-22. So they, they proved uh, they proved a version which generalizes Geyser Hesseldold work and generalizes. Uh, some of the work of uh, this Cortinus SMR also. This is recent, but still uh, it is open. Okay. So, any questions so far? Menak, are you there? Yeah. So, so now I will I'll, uh, sketch the uh, first of all. I will uh, sketch the argument of Worst because some of the arguments of Worst used by uh, Cortinus, SMA, and Weibel. So then I will uh, discuss the idea of the proof of uh, Cortinus, SMA, Weibel. So let's see uh, the, for this first uh, definition. So definition is uh, definition of a key irregularity. A ring R. R is said to be KI irregular if KI of R X on to XN. Okay, so I want to say this. Uh, okay, so let me say this. Ki, ki, this map ki r two. This is an nice one. Ki r two uh, ki r x on x n polynomial extension for all n uh, greater than equal to zero. This is then nice one. Then we say that uh, r is ki regular. So then there is a result by Borst. So let's say a proposition by Borst. He says that uh, he proved basically a ki a regular implies k i minus one regular. So force proved that so if, if, if something is suppose, suppose, so in the force conjecture we have assumed a k d plus one regularity. Right, so KD plus one regularity implies KD, KD regularity, KD minus one regularity, all the way to KG regularity. So this this is already proved by Worst in the uh, seventies that KI regular implies KI minus one regular. Okay, so 
So let, let, let us see the, let us sketch the proof of this. How does it work? So you understand Ki regular means a Ki of a ring a, with the polymer extension is isomorphism. So then one has to prove that uh, Ki minus one of that with the polymer extension is same. So, 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 so you, you first you observe that. So let, let's sketch the proof. So a sketch of proof. So first we, first we observe that. So notice, okay, so before that, let me define one more thing. So let's see. And another definition. In, uh, we define NKI of a ring R is by definition, this is equal to kernel of the kernel of the map a ki of r adjoining one variable t then you you go to ki of r okay so this this you take this kernel and this kernel is uh, you denote by in ki okay so so you observe that this what is uh, so then see oh, this map rt to so let's say rt to r so this this is map is uh, t goes to zero and r goes to r means this uh, one goes to one and there is a retraction map right so this this, this is the inclusion map so this, this t equal to zero is the uh, retraction of uh, in inclusion map so this what this says that uh, because k theory are they are functorial functorial property will say that this this uh, ki of uh, the ring rt is canonically uh, naturally isomorphic to nki of r by definition is it? because that kernel is splits so this is same thing as nki of r ki of r so this is the direct summand. Okay, so as a first step, so as we are giving the sketch of the proof that ki regularity implies ki minus one regularity. So now you notice that. So notice that uh, it is enough to prove enough to prove that uh, n k i of R of T equal to zero implies NK I minus one of R is zero. Okay, so this is very, suppose you know this, then you can easily uh, show that uh, this this uh, K I regular implies K I minus one regular. So this 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 this, this part enough to uh, prove that this part I am leaving that as, as a exercise. Okay, so I'm doing an exercise, but suppose I know this, then this, uh, uh, then, uh, so, we, 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 if I, so how do you prove this statement? So this statement is, so what is the bus fundamental exact sequence? So bus fundamental exact sequence says that we have mapped from zero to uh, ki of r to ki of r t direct sum ki of r t inverse to ki of r t comma t inverse and then this co kernel is denoted by ki minus 1 of r and 2 0 so this is called bus bus fundamental exact sequence this is called bus fundamental exact sequence. So this this you must have seen in the earlier talk as well.
okay so what see this ki i as i said that ki i of rt as i said this these are like a, a, a splits as a mki and ki so this similar statement holds true if i replace ki by N -A mki so if you replace by mki then also similar holds so let me uh, maybe write down in different uh, color so if, if you write a nki then also a same exact sequence holds okay same exact sequence holds but now given that's so why i'm giving the proof of this uh, enough to group so now it is given that nki of rt is zero so it means that this this is going to be zero and this is going to be also zero on variable but uh, there's a, another fact is that so, so another fact let me write down here so one can check that whenever in k i of r t zero implies if you invert t then also it is in k i of r t t inverse is also zero so 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 since this is zero this is also zero hence this is zero. so this all these things implies so all the so all all these things implies that this is also zero so this is the proof that in k i of r t uh, zero implies in k i minus one of r zero so this implies this zero so once you know this then then it implies that k i regularity implies k, k i minus one regular Okay, are there any questions? Is this clear? Okay, so so once so this this was the first part. Okay, so now we'll say uh, how so a proof of force uh, conjecture. conjecture d equal to one case uh, by by so this by, by, by d equal to one case so let's say sketch okay so this this is also i will give you some sketch so so i will tell you how it is done d equal to one case so this is the uh, uh, this is the proof by uh, host so how he did so say so i said that ki regular implies uh, ki minus one regular so it is given that it is uh, r is k2 regular so k2 regular this implies that uh, k1 regular and k0 regular right this is this is by previous result by so this is say, say step one so by by uh, previous re result So then step two is that so k cannot k, k not regularity k not regularity implies that r is semi normal so everybody knows the definition of semi normal or uh, want me to uh, recall You have to recall this definition. Then in step three, what he does, so I assume that you know. So in step three, what he, he does is that, so knowing that R is uh, semi-normal, uh, so he wanted to prove R is regular. So you know R, R is semi-normal. So then he assumed that, suppose, R is not regular. Suppose uh, R is not regular, then then he finds so he finds a a class in K two 
or x1 to xn which is uh, which is not in k2 of r it does not belong to k2 r uh, k2 of r using uh, using uh, seminormality and k k using seminormality seminormality of r using seminormality of seminormality and seminormality of r and 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 q on regularity so this, so this is the brief sketch so but this part 3 is very hard and this this things may be a standard but step 3 is a little bit involved so he considers various cases to do it so this is the, this is there in his paper in mathematics analysis paper okay so any question so far now now i shall move to the uh, part 3 which is uh, which is like a uh, cds techniques cdh uh, techniques so cdh techniques is so basically i have to define what is called something called cdh descent so th this is basically uh, basically means so i, I will uh, precisely define it so basically uh, means basically what you have to say is that Basically, basically means that the this uh, mirror uh, may be to is. Uh, property old for uh, Nisnevichi square and abstract and uh, blow up square. So, so this is. The, 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 so my full concentration will be now defining all these terms. So let us start with Nisnevich uh, square. So let's uh, fix this. So as I said, this uh, K is a, a field, and uh, S C H over K is a category of a finite type. Finite type, can you give a finite type is scheme over K. Okay, so this is the category of finite type is scheme over K. Uh, then, first definition is property for A, what is MB property? So let's uh, give the definition. So, may have it is, means uh, I'll say, may have it is, I will abbreviate this as. Uh, MB. Okay. So first uh, definition. So a precif. A precif of spectra. A precif of spectra on uh, SCH over K. Satisfies. So, so source is the category of the fine type scheme, and the target category is the category of spectra. So, category of spectra, you know, it is sequence. Spectra is a, a sequence of simplicial uh, sets and uh, with some bonding maps, and the morphisms are stick mapped. So a precif of a spectra on S, uh, SCH over K satisfies MB means may be trace property if 
if uh, if for a if for a cartesian cartesian is square if for a cartesian square of a scheme if for a cartesian square of a scheme say we have this way cartesian so let me write down mm, so a x prime to x and then we have a y to x and this maps uh, coming from y prime to this so this this uh, we do not buy we don't buy star so this is a star is a, a cartesian square of a scheme so is is a cartesian square a pullback square in the uh, category of in, in in the category of schemes okay so if for a cartesian square of a scheme if you apply uh, the sieve of spectra, let's say denoted by uh, E, we apply to so this, this E. So it means that we have a E of uh, Y prime, E of uh, X prime. So these are all spectra, E of Y and E of uh, X. See, but uh, so this is the precip. So precip will be all the arrows will be reversed. So in this way, this is you demand it to be a homotopic Cartesian. So this, this this is a homotopic Cartesian square. So we said we say that it satisfies MB property for any uh, Cartesian square of schemes. Uh, we have a homotopy Cartesian square of precips like this. This is a homotopy Cartesian square. Okay. So this is uh, one definition. So now we will define uh, elementary. What is the meaning of uh, elementary? Nisnevich. squares. So what is elementary in this new squares? So elementary in this new square is a, is a Cartesian square, Cartesian square in the category of scheme, Cartesian square Cartesian square of schemes so as a, as in uh, star okay so as in star such that uh, such that the, in the cartesian square such that we have uh, this map so so let's let's draw that again x prime to we have a x x prime to x and we have uh, y to x and then y prime to x this so this 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 map you demand to be uh, open in um, open memory so this is uh, open in uh, open embedding and this is you demand to be for nishnibaji square this map you demand to be ethal okay and uh, outside so we have this map this this map is induced from this uh, so outside y y y prime this map is an isomorphism so we have a map from uh, x prime minus y prime to uh, x minus uh, y is this is this is an isomorphism then we, we call it a elementary a 
Okay, so now I will define. So, so, so we, as I said that CDH, uh, uh, CDS to this define CDS descent, uh, basically means member this property holds for the initial square and the abstract blob square. So let us define what do you mean by abstract by blob square. So let me go to the next slide. So abstract blow up square is is a so it is the same thing as elementary square is a, a Cartesian Cartesian square Cartesian square of uh, schemes so as in star so su such that so here uh, the conditions are different such that uh, so let me draw this this again x prime to Okay, so this this map we demand to be uh, proper, and we have uh, th th this y to x. This is uh, a closed immersion or closed embedding. This is uh, closed embedding, and then we have a y prime to y. So one example for this is that. Example you can remember as like a, our a blob square. This is the abstract blob square, but you, if you look at the our blob square for any, uh, so you can look at this Hartson blob square. This 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 is the example of a abstract blob square. Okay. So now we will say. Uh, so we say that uh, this is the so that that our uh, the definition. So definition is that we say that there are precif of spectra. E has a, a niche name which niche name is descent if uh, E this is our precif of spectra one SCH over K if E uh, satisfies uh, MV Mavitis property for all property for all uh, elementary for all elementary uh, Nisnevich squares. And then another fact is that but it, it is to uh, in, in the category of scheme, find a scheme of our K. It is true that uh, uh, K theory satisfies this level descent. If E is our uh, uh, K theory precif, then it satisfies this level descent. So one, uh, one more fact is that so uh, category of spectra with a suitable model structure, it has a meaning of uh, fibration, co-fibration, and this weak equivalence. Then uh, this this E so E is a precif of spectra. And you take the uh, so H niece of H niece of E, okay, on X. So we have, so this this is fibrin replacement of uh, uh, E X. Okay. So did this map. So e, uh, we said the E satisfies niche level descent. Then uh, if E satisfies niche level descent on the category of scheme, so the, this this map is an weak equivalence. This map is a. We say that it satisfies niche level descent. It is fact that if this map is a, a weak equivalence, let me write down in full.
is a weak equivalence a for for each x in sh over k okay so where should we tell where what is this uh, h means this is the uh, fiber in the uh, model category fiber replacement of the um, precif e so let me write down where h uh, nis uh, h nis dash e is a so the, the, whenever you take a fiber uh, fiber and replacement there is a canonical map from ex to this so that map is equivalent means this is satisfying this never reset so this is a uh, fibrant uh, replacement of e okay descriptive so i'm not talking about which model is that in a in a in a in a, in a, in a suitable uh, model structure Uh, which I have not clearly spelling out. But this is true. Instead of model structure, this, this is true. And, and this is a, a theorem of Cortina's. Uh, so the, this theorem uh, will be needed. This is a theorem of Cortina's. Cortina's. Hasselmeyer, Hasselmeyer, and this is coming from this paper with Sisting, uh, which published in Annals of Mathematics. Sisting, uh, why well, they, they proved that uh, that this, this this same thing is true for the CDH. Uh, also, I I did not say what is CDH. So before this, I needed a definition. So let me write down the statement. Then, so this is a so CDS CDS topology is the topology generated by a Nisenovich square element in Nisenovich square as well as uh, abstract blob square. So in the, uh, the the same statement for Nisenovich topology, whatever the Nisenovich square I have written for Nisenovich topology, the same thing is uh, true for uh, the CDS topology. So ex. This this map is weak equivalence uh, with uh, CDH descent also CDH to follow CDH we say it satisfies CDH descent if uh, e uh, uh, e satisfies MP property for elementary Nisenovich square as well as abstract blob square so this is so this I put here X and this is E is a, a weak equivalence. This is the weak equivalence for for each scheme x same thing where so so where the same thing h c d h where h c d h dash e is a vibrant vibrant replacement of uh, precif e or with suitable model structure okay now i will define this as cdh descent now so a definition of a cdh step by this minus small letter definition of cdh descent So we say the precif of spectra E satisfies uh, CDH uh, descent 
if if see the descent uh, one uh, uh, category of a scheme over the field k on this if e or oh, sorry he has a series descent so let's say uh, let's use the word he has a series descent the principle of spectra e has a series descent if e satisfies mb property for for a element in snv square as well as abstract uh, blob square satisfies mb property for uh, elementary smithsonian squares so this is this is this is uh, uh, this is called smithsonian descent the same thing is called smithsonian descent also and but we demand uh, is no reason plus may say satisfy may be this property for for all and for all abstract below of this square. That's correct. Mm, squares. Okay, so, so this is called the CDS descent. Definite, this is the definition of the CDS descent. Okay. E has a series descent. Precif of spectra has a series descent. Has a series descent on the category schemes. If E satisfies may have this property for the Nisnev square as well as abstract blob square. Now, now, now let us uh, write down the uh, so, so let, let me now, now write down the theorem of uh, uh, Cortinus Hasemeyer. So this I let me do Cortinus Hasemeyer and Weibel and from uh, 08 paper, James paper. So I will write down some simplified version and I will sketch the proof of for this simple version. Okay. So let uh, R be a uh, d dimensional. D dimensional the Q algebra. So that they use resolution of singularity, and because they are, uh, for any characteristic uh, as Q algebra, it has a resolution of singularity. But uh, one can take the uh, field extension of Q also F. So it is done there also, but uh, for simplicity, I'm taking the field to be Q. Okay, so uh, which is uh, finite type of argument finite type over Q, then R is KD plus one regular implies R is a regular type. So, the, so let me uh, give the sketch of the proof. So a sketch of proof. So using this uh, CDS descent. So I, I will say where it is used, basically. So this is uh, saying R is regular is like some sort of commutative algebra property, right? And I mean, uh, you know, uh, so so what what is the criteria for being regular, for regularity? So one one way to see so some commutative algebra fact is that so let me uh, as I write down a step one that if I can prove so if one can check that if omega d plus 1 of r over q. So this is a killer differential, d plus 1 of k, the killer differential of r over q is 0, implies r is regular.
okay so, so, so somehow from k theory to we have to go to the kähler differential so so there is a so this is the this is the main fact we will take on this fact this is some commutative algebra fact one can uh, do it easily so i leave it as exercise okay so this this is the step 2 okay so somehow from k theory i, I have to go to the and this uh, killer differential so how do i do so for this i don't know whether you know hoxil homology cyclic homology but uh, i have to use it okay so i think before that there is a uh, so this, this fact i will use okay that omega d plus 1 by q is 0 then r is regular this is a fact in the commutative algebra so Let me say this. Let me say this is step two. Uh, step one, uh, we will give uh, step one. Let us do some uh, uh, step on. Let us do some reduction. First of all, we can assume uh, we, we can uh, can uh, assume R is local, right? So, so anybody is there, uh, the bunker. So how much time do I have? When, when should I stop? The bunker. So this is because we can assume our uh, local because hello. Mena, are you there? Rayhan, are you there? Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm audible, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This one. Okay. So, can I assume R is local because because regularity is first of all, regularity is a local property. We can check in the local ring because regularity is a local. property and also and also this k, k d plus one k d plus one localizes so the, the, that is the, the, uh, this means that uh, if k d plus one of r is isomorphic to k d plus one of r x on to x n implies uh, after localization also it is uh, so so the, the, this means that if r is that is R is KD plus one uh, regular implies R localized at M is uh, KD plus one regular. Okay, so 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 this is it means that we can assume R is local. This is the step one, and then the, you can think of the second. Uh, uh, this is step two. Then we have to prove that if we, if we can prove omega D plus one R by Q is zero. Q is a field of rational numbers, then R is regular. So now I'll, I'll tell you the connection with uh, uh, different cells and K theory. So, so, so now we'll, our E will be a K. So, so which is a, a pre of uh, spectra, pre of spectra on uh, SCH over uh, say, uh, small. Okay, so I think this I should say F. Uh, now, because capital K is our K theory. So K theory is C. Okay, so there, there is another. Uh, so let us take a K, and from K to we have a map. There's CDH, a vibrant replacement of this precif K. Okay. And this is a theorem that this 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 is five hundred replacement is actually uh, isomorphic to uh, K H theory. So th this is called uh, this is the Weibull homotopy K theory. So everybody heard this. So I will have to say something. This is uh, Weibull's uh, homotopy K theory. So you don't have much time. So let me assume that you know this. And this this fiber. Let us define this fiber by uh, f of K. Okay. Uh, 
okay and then then from people k theory we have this uh, something called uh, cyclic homology hc so, so, so this is a, a good willy uh, chan character so this is uh, good willy's uh, chan character map character map and from AC, AC also PDC for spectra, I can take the uh, for, uh, CBH5 and replacement of this. Okay. So then, then, then since this, this map will induce a map in, in this, in this direction. And this, this, uh, this I do not have a fiber bar, and this fiber by F of uh, HC. Now it is given that, so let's say our R is, so this may be step three, which we want to uh, conclude. So, so maybe I will take one more step. So let's say R equal to R is a, a finite type, a local finite type K algebra. So R is our, so let's say, uh, this is our right here. So X equal to uh, spec of R. So you, you place uh, X everywhere. So this uh, uh, this this uh, R is d plus one connect uh, d plus one regular means d, d regular d minus one regular all the way to k zero right so that will tell you so this will give me a map from this this also so this this will tell me uh, so th th this is a fiber fiber sequence f k to k two k c d h to k h so 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 let me give you uh, give you a map so this is a star one so so star on uh, yields this long exit sequence. So say a uh, pi, let, let me write down, uh, say, 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 say what is this, pi d plus two k to pi d plus two of uh, k h to, uh, so then, then fiber sequence will be one less, so this will be pi d plus one of uh, f k. So the here uh, it, it is coming from pi d plus two of f k. So then this this will uh, again pi d plus one of f k will map to uh, pi d plus one of um, k, and then this will map to uh, pi d plus uh, one of uh, k h. But see see r is uh, d plus on regular this this implies that uh, that this this map is uh, subjective and now this onwards this onwards all this map say this this is isomorphism pi i of uh, k is isomorphic to pi i of so this is a k, th k theory uh, the homotopy k theory for all i less than or equal to d plus one so this is a k d plus one regular because the way k is, is defined and this d plus two will be subjective. So this this implies that this uh, pi i of f k is zero for all i less than or equal to d plus one. So this 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 is the meaning of that uh, f k is uh, d plus one connected. Okay, so this is this is FK, FK is D plus one connected. Okay, so, so I think I'm not allowed to take more than 20 slides or what? Then we have to start another thing. Okay, so, so FK is D connected. So this, this, this really implies that so. D plus one connected means this, and this is another way of saying is that a K theory, a K satisfies, K satisfies uh, D CDS descent when up to the of D plus one, D plus one CDS descent. So it means that up to uh, fiber is zero till D plus one. This is the same, this is the meaning of this. 
So this, this, this is maybe so you can think of the difference of CDH. So now what to do? This is, I think it is not taking. So we have to open maybe another jam, jam, jam board. So how do you open it? So any quick way of doing so? I think on the left hand side, I, you have an option to add something. Huh? Uh, in the left side, uh, yeah, that button, what does that do? This is a sticky oh, note, sticky. so I can maybe, maybe I can write some note here. So uh, yeah, I, I I'll quickly finish it. So this this implies that uh, K E satisfies D plus uh, one descent. So then there's one lemma, but uh, this I can not write or what? In a sticky note. That it's, uh, it's only for typing, I guess. Oh. I think twenty is the limit for the number of slides in this. Yeah, so now I, I so what I have to do, maybe I should have opened another drive, but then it will open it. Quickly open another drive. But then I have to stop sharing, you know? No, no, it works. You, you can see my screen? Yeah, yeah. Huh? So new, new screen you can see? Yeah, visible. Uh, yes, the, the blank screen, right? So let's start. So, so what I said just now is that, where it is, yeah. Here, till, till, so if K satisfies satisfy D plus one CDS descent, from there we can conclude that, uh, and then uh, from this diagram, So this says that FAC also satisfies D plus one CDS descent. So what we have that if a c so the, this is a cyclic homology satisfies uh, d plus on cdh descent okay so now i'll write down two lemma then we'll quickly uh, end which will connect k theory to oxygen homology to uh, different cells so i said that if omega d plus one r over q is zero then r is regular so, so that a different cell is connected to the Hoxian homology and Hoxian homology is connected to the uh, K theory. So this first lemma will say that uh, so let's take a X belonging to SCH over F F is a field. So K satisfies uh, satisfies K satisfies D plus one CDH 
decent if and only if AHH -A -H, Hoxian homology satisfies DCD is decent. So already we have proved that actually that this, 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 this actually basically follows from this diagram. This basically follows from this diagram. But what we have proved here is that K satisfies uh, D plus one series descent if and only if FHC cyclic homology satisfies uh, D plus one series descent. But uh, cyclic homology and Hoxian homology, they are connected by a, a, a SBI sequence. So let me see whether I have that statement. So, so we have seen, so let's say we have seen that we have seen uh, we have seen that HC satisfies uh, D plus one by the hypothesis because uh, because of the D plus one connectedness of the K theory. D plus one CDS descent. Okay, so this 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 implies from now from SBI sequence. So because this I have not defined Hoxil and cyclic homology. If you know this what is by sequence is from there implies that H H satisfies a DCDS descent. CDH descent. Okay, so then 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 last lemma will prove that if H H satisfies this descent descent, then this this last lemma. Uh, which will end the proof or this maybe i will say it is a step final step five lemma two that h h satisfies d c d h descent so this is then if if h h satisfies d satisfies descent then so one say then omega d plus one of r over q is zero. Then we have said that so this this once this is zero then uh, that uh, first step I said uh, second step that uh, this is zero implies that r is regular. So this implies r is regular. So th this is the end of the proof. So I will stop here and uh, I will take up some questions if you have any. Any questions? Any question?